So yesterday we had trouble with the um, bilge pump uh, pumping water out when I was taking a shower. Um, not the first time. Um, it's at least the second, maybe the third. Um, in the past, when the bilge pump would come on, it would like cycle. Like it would pump and then it would turn off and then it would start up again and then it would turn off. So in essence, I guess it would catch up with the water flow and then when the water built up again, it would pump the water out. Um, so it's not doing that, which means it's not keeping up with the water flow. Um, nothing else has changed about the shower or the product or you know anything that's going down the drain or any of that. So AJ fiddled with it two nights ago couple nights ago when I took a shower and then again last night um, and you know I guess realized it was definitely a problem so it's usually the strainer there's a strainer that filters out all the hair and you know objects and stuff before it actually goes through the bilge pump um, so usually once a month I have to clean that out and then everything's fine uh, but it was clean and that wasn't the issue so it, it's it's, it's not it's pumping time. enough. <laughs> it's time. It's timer. <laughs> so it's not pumping enough. So this morning he got up. I got up early and was, uh, I guess we're, we're going to go snorkeling today. So before we went snorkeling, I wanted to, uh, you know, at least put my hands on parts, uh, look for, you know, just get everything ready. Um, clear out the, uh, there's a space we call the garage. Um, I needed to clear that out so I could actually work on the uh, bilge pump and uh, so I just wanted to get all that ready so we you know after we go snorkeling I could just come back and uh, get right to work um, but that didn't happen so I went down into the holes you can show them the holes in the floor yeah so down here um, are some little cubbies and when we bought the boat um, there was stuff stored down there so as AJ resorted through things he stored more stuff down there um, yeah engine parts and gaskets and you know parts for the boat that we don't frequently need but you know it's a good spot for him so yeah so this morning he got up and, and made his coffee and opened up those holes and started sorting through what was down there yeah looks looking for you know maybe a rebuild kit for the uh uh the bilge pump um but um water had gotten into that compartment not a lot, but enough. Enough. Uh, and it's actually salt water too. Salt water. Um, and started getting into some of the parts. So most of the parts are sealed and vacuum sealed. Those are fine. Uh, several were stored in Ziploc bags, which, you know, kind of rubbed a hole through them and the water got inside the bag. So, um, you know, three hours later, um, yeah. we're, you know, detouring our, our project into now, all right, we've got to sort through all these parts dry them all out uh several of them uh, actually corroded yeah we have two and parts that we don't know if they'll be salvageable um this one in particular is a something for the engine what is it AJ? it's uh for the wall raw water pump that uh, pumps yeah. uh, through so it looks fine except for right there this main cog or gear it's um rusted and corroded rusted. and this goes inside the engine so this is probably pretty much toast yeah we're um, hoping maybe though this can be maybe this piece is replaceable yeah. hoping so. i never need this part ever yeah um, but anyway and, and i don't know this, what this is yet but it's uh it's electronic electronic it had salt water all inside yeah of it, we so. dumped the water out of it so yeah. um so that piece is definitely uh not salvageable yeah i still don't know what that's for yet but so everything else we kind of pulled out here on the table and of course i didn't pull the video out while it was all out i should have but you know i'm not good at i'm not a good youtuber so um we pulled everything out laid it out and then i worked on drying everything off and uh you know now we got to figure out where to put all this crap so um luckily um when i went home to to charleston for the wedding um, AJ ordered, you know, three suitcases full of stuff that I had to bring back. So I have these great, really sturdy, um, compartments. <laughs> so, um, so we started, uh, cleaning everything up, drying everything off and sorting it and storing it. Um, this was one of the suitcases I had 
that we were able to uh, put all of the engine parts and I think up here is all of the dinghy engine parts and all of the filters are in here and so it's kind of sorted and categorized and fairly well contained um, you know it can live back there on the um, in the garage on the uh, bed when we don't have guests um, this is our garage so. yeah this is our garage I think we've showed you this before but so down inside underneath this bed there are three holes um, and all of that in there is filled with stuff. what you see parts. stuff parts and uh, mostly parts yeah um, there's some tools in the front section so now back to the bilge project <laughs> um, now that we've you know cleaned up the the other thing which by the way we still haven't addressed the fact that yes there was salt water in the bilge we don't know where that's and coming we don't from really yet. know where it's coming from well we do know where some of it's coming from like it's it is coming from the outside but um it is we are supposed to have water down there like for example the um what's the thing you keep adjusting the, the stuffing box the stuffing box is supposed to i thought you turned that off i snoozed it i snoozed it again um the stuffing box is supposed to leak um when the engine's running it there's supposed to be a a constant drip um and that water drains into the bilge um so we know that comes in we do know we have some, a leak in this bathroom in that window we have a very small leak when we're underway um and because those windows are in the water um so there are a couple places that we know that salt water is coming in um i did notice in the last couple of sales right down here um along this seam we also have water you can tell that's been happening in a while too because the wood's discolored yeah so we got water down there somewhere yeah i think a lot of that's happened since we took the boat over because i just don't know that it was sailed that yeah. much before that but um anyway so there's water coming in there i might i suspect that it's coming from the window that's back here but i'm not really sure it's possible we could have some slow um small leaks around some um through holes i mean i don't know water is so hard to find just like it's so hard to find at your house it's even harder to find on a friggin boat um but anyhow so we have uh we're now looking for the part I'm looking for parts which i don't know if they exist or not but. for the bilge pump that yeah we don't know if we have um but we wanted to make sure if we had them we had them out so that he could work on it when it was convenient because this is not convenient <laughs> there's nothing about getting to any of this stuff that's easy we have to dismantle everything basically find homes for all the stuff that lives here um and then find the part so we're trying to find that if we have it great if we don't at least we're in a place well, where we, we have can probably two, get yeah, it well we have two bilge pumps too so um there's another pump that's identical that uh sucks water from our back shower up to the to the uh um, to the bilge and uh, that's identical to the bilge pump that pumps the water out over okay. so I can swap those out and we're, we're fine until I can find um, the parts, parts that we need so it's not so, a critical project but I would like that to work boat life there's nothing easy about it yeah it's more space than anything because you know when you're at a house you have a garage you can mess up and you know keep it out of your everyday living space but here you're extra bed is your workspace or the or your the galley, even worse the, the counter, the counter, counter in the kitchen um so that's why aj got me up he's like i need you to get up so i was able to kind of clean everything off so we could get to this spot and everything that was living here i was able to find a semi-permanent home for um that we could live with so it's not like we have to sit on top of the luggage you know or have everything piled on top of the table um while we're working um sometimes when aj goes to find a part for a project he just stacks everything in the floor here mm -hmm. um and then the problem with that is see there's water right there that's leaked that ran across 
the problem with that is when he, the part that he needs isn't there and what happens today it snowballs into something else and we got this shit everywhere <laughs> and yeah. we can't I've maneuver. even started the project that i intended on this morning so yeah so anyway yeah. Boat life, isn't it glamorous? Mm -hmm. So for all you guys out there that think I'm just like, you know, like floating around uh, in a uh, bathing suit on the front of the boat drinking uh, uh, rum and fruit drinks, uh, this is what it's really like most of the time. <laughs> yeah, but we still do the rum and fruit drinks. We do the rum and fruit drinks, but there's a lot of this. Um, you know, there's a, there is a boat project constantly and not just like an aesthetic like oh this would be really cool and make life yeah, more comfortable it's, it's like oh shit our boat is sinking project yeah <laughs> so. so and usually when you start one project you find another project yeah uh that's more critical um as you're looking for parts or you break something else when yeah. you're trying to fix it so, so anyway. good times so we'll keep you posted on this project as it uh as we continue to chase down the problem and see if we have a part so all right, all right see, see ya, ya. Okay, uh, we're back on the bilge project. Um, we pulled everything out of this uh, front section of the garage. It has a little door um, and a top entrance so that uh, AJ has access to the inside um, where the actual bilge is. This where the pump is? Yeah, this is the bilge pump. This one right here. Um, this is the secondary one that pulls uh, um, water from the aft shower into the bilge and then the bilge pump pumps it over. Um, what it looks like is the pump I think is good. So I took all this shit out and this is where it sucks in water from the bilge. This valve right here, this is a check valve. It's a one-way valve. It only lets water go one way. Um, so I pulled all this all right, out. So my original thought was uh, the bilge pump may have been bad and I was going to swap uh, this one out for this one just to get it working until I got parts. So this pump here uh, sucks water from the aft shower into the bilge here and then this one right here is the bilge pump that sucks the water and pumps it overboard. Okay. Um, so um, that was my original thought then I so said hold on let me start with the basics. And so what I did is I took all of this uh, plumbing off before the bilge pump. And so this is the switch. When this gets wet, it triggers the, uh, triggers the pump. Uh, it sucks it in here. This is in the lowest part of the bilge. Uh, but this is actually a check <laughs> valve. It's a one-way valve that only lets water go uh, one way. Um, so I took this off and I pulled this cap out. And there was a bunch of hair and just nastiness inside of it. So I think that's what was causing the problem. Um, there is a strainer that is at the other end of this before it gets into the pump. That's usually the problem that clogs first, or that usually clogs, and I have to, you yeah. know, clean that. That's what you cleaned last night. Yeah, it didn't change really. Yeah, well, it was it was clean. It wasn't dirty because I just cleaned it. Usually the maintenance routine, I clean it once a month. Um, and cleaning that usually frees up and it starts sucking water, no problem again. But. This check valve had a bunch of gunk in it and hair and just nastiness. So I pulled that out and we should be good. So I'm going to put it all back together again and hopefully we're good. But, uh, you know, fun times. Um, Bow life. Everything is cramped. Glamorous. Everything is upside down. And I'm just glad this area is accessible. Yeah. Because otherwise there's a small hole on the other end that I'd have to be doing it. But it's... Uh, it's yes. very cramped and upset. He's hanging yeah. through the and door it, right now. It's painful. Yeah. It's painful. So. I'm putting the strainer back on. And usually the rule of thumb with uh, boat projects is uh, <coughs> if you can <coughs> see it, you can't reach it. If you can yeah. reach it, you can't see it. Yeah. Um, or some variation of that. Sometimes you can feel it and you have to go with one hand, which is what I'm doing now. <coughs> you okay? You're coughing and choking. Yeah, I'm just really congested. 
Anything else to no. do it again? Ooh. All right, we'll, we'll leave him there in that hole, and um, we will see what happens once everything gets put back together.